are. I don't even know how to intro this. Been waiting to do this for a while. Uh, one of my favorite, I don't know, we played it as a kid and then I, it took a while to get one as an adult, but I love playing that TurboGrafx-16. And it's coaxial only, I don't have the uh, extras and all that stuff, so I finally get to bring it to life. Uh, I haven't really played it all that much. Well, I haven't played uh, a lot of the newer, you know, I got a lot of newer games, so just wanted to go over some of the different games from the collection and give them a playthrough. Well, not so much a playthrough, but spend some time on them. Some of them can be pretty challenging, so <laughs> we'll see how far we can get. How about that? Because I will be interested to see... Uh, we got a, a good lineup. I thought we'd be, we'd be fun. I recently got most of these games, except for uh, Mr. C. I let him choose what I was going to play first. And as you see here, this is Legendary Axe. I have both one and two. So this is a game that's right up his alley, I know. We'll see uh, how far I can get in it uh, with a few tries. But we also have some other cool stuff. We've got Tailspin. We've got Victory Run, which is a uh, just like a racing game. Uh, Pac Land, which people will enjoy. I, I guess there's a SNES version of it, something like that. Um, I had never played Pac Land until I got it on the Turbo Graphics. And last, I'll probably be playing some Dungeon Explorer, which is just a cool. It's like a Gauntlet style game that uh, I was excited to get, so I had to throw it in the mix. But let's check out some legendary acts on the TurboGrafx-16. Got some monster in hand. Anybody that knows me knows I'm not a... I just... Bats in video games, they are my nemesis. Hopefully it's just pressing up. Okay. I don't know if I should go down. It's early in the game. Let's give it a shot, I guess. Oh! Like I'm fighting. Am I playing Demon Souls? Alright, so obviously that was a decent fight. Maybe that's like a bonus. I'll take the free ladder. Oh man. Oh, I got a more powerful attack, it looks like. Oh, son of a creeps. Okay. Uh, I was trying to hit them when they were green. I was thinking that might give me a positive item. I mean, once again things get real sticky. You might have to read the manual. It looks like it's a game of tough jumps with a tough controller. Definite. One of the things with the TurboGrafx-16 is... Oh, shit. Come on. Oh, he's coming after me, though. That's what I was just saying. <laughs> yeah. Uh, welcome, brother. 
to the stream. Yeah, the controller for this is probably the, it's got this really short cord and uh, they're tough. They're like, like we talked about the Sega Masters controller there. They're just rough on the old hand. Nice, I pulled him down there. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> well, I have it for you. You can always, oh my God, it's a giant bear. I think I did good. I think I did well. Okay, right there. Man, this is awesome. Finally bringing some TurboGrafx-16. It's like a dream come true. Ah, oh, that attack's so slow. my weapon power or something up too. Oh, I get it. I get it. I have an appointment tomorrow. Dude, yeah, it's a very impressive. Oh shit. Brutally hard, but very impressive. So let's see if I can do that again. Oh wait, continue. Instant fire death. level this boulder boss is crap
I saw that. At least I have some continues. So that really is a pretty easy boss, obviously. So I'm. I'll try to keep an eye on time. But five games, I got a. I got all. You know, I got a while. So devote enough to uh, make the game still seem fun, not overplay it. But I feel like some of the other games might be a little shorter, depending on. This is probably the best I've ever done at this. I don't rem remember getting this far last time I played. Oh, shit. And that's why. And that's why. I mean, what's really exciting about this, though, is it's like playing those games that we were talking about, those good games, for that first time, and it's so brutally hard that you have to sit there and play it over and over like you used to because you don't know the game yet Chop him down like a tree, baby. Whoa. Oh, that was tricky. Oh, man, I have no power ups. I guess I'll just run out to continue for practice. I was actually going to uh, fresh start it. <laughs> Do you think a fresh start?
stupid bird. <laughs> right, yeah. All right, good. Let's get that credits on there. Start screen. Got a little warm up. One of the first times I've ever played Legendary Axe on the Turbo Graphics 16. You're here, Brothers Forge Gaming Easy. And uh we're going to give it another run from the beginning. Man, if this one is this good, I wonder how good the second one is. But that's not on this stream, so... Tune in again. good stuff.
beating up those bears. <laughs> Smacking them bears around. Man, it feels good to play that turbo graphics, baby. I can use this a majority to play Splatterhouse. <laughs> Great oldies. It's funny because we always bring up game, certain games, and a lot of my the favorites are, I mean, just right of that era. Uncharted Water, Shining Force, uh, even the Techno Cop and stuff like that. I love what gaming was doing. Do that again. What's up, Dizzy? Playing that Turbo Graphics? Man, we got some Pac Land coming up. I thought you might might enjoy that one. Yeah, I got a Turbo Graphics in about eighteen. Uh, 18, 20 games or so. I ended up, I picked it up in box a couple uh, years ago at uh, PRGE. And I'm glad I did. I thought it was supposed to be more power. Yeah, dude, it feels so good playing. There's so many good shooters on here. Uh, I can't wait to dive into that. I got a couple. I got Blazing Lasers, which is, like, amazing. Deep Blue seems to be pretty cool. It gets intense. This game is gritty. Ah. It's tough right up here. 
Yeah, the Miss Pac-Man game was really cool on the Dreamcast. Ma Ma I hadn't played that one. Uh, where is it? This one looks super interesting. It's Pac-Land. I guess there's one on the Super Nintendo or something. So I don't know if you have uh, have played any of those, but it, it's pretty interesting too. It's you know not your Pac-Man game, but it is your Pac-Man game. It's it's fun. I can't wait to uh, to play this, man. This is. A good time. I'm actually doing pretty good here, too. As I speak. Ah. You sucker. Just kill him. Oh, that guy's still alive! Pack land! Oh, shit. I feel like there might have been something down there. Just a different way. Oh. So that was just a life boost? did not utilize that. I do remember playing Bonk. The Splatterhouse game is just so good. No. Oh. That's not what I wanted. I do need to get uh, there's a, an adapter so you can do the multiplayers. That's why you gotta go get that life. That's about how much you take. This game looks cool. I actually have Legendary Axe 2, which will be uh, fun to play after playing this one. I also got a, a pretty cool game lined up. It's uh, called Dungeon Explorer, which is a. It's kind of like a um, gauntlet clone so it's pretty fun you can actually play it multiplayer and all that all that stuff but I only have one player so it doesn't really matter ah come on This is a tough one. Man, I wonder what 10 games did you have? That was... They had some, I really want to get, they have a, there's an adventure island that I think is really cool on there. And then Darkwing Duck. Oh, you'll love Tailspin. It's a lot of fun. It, it's a lot better on this system than this Genesis, I feel. Ah. Get him.
Let's go see if I can fall off the rope again. I feel like it's so close too. Why is that so frustrating? That was like the first time I died too. It was repeatedly right there. Well, I guess I'll be an expert at this. It's funny because I got five doing our own version of five for five. I wonder what the going rate is that <laughs> what are the odds I'm gonna fall? There's a couple, there's some good looking RPG style games on there. Yeah, it's up in Oregon. It's actually not too far away from, I mean, like a few hours. Oh, that's funny. I need to go check that out. <laughs> Sounds like the Airbnb I want to go do. <laughs> Are you saying you want the music higher? I definitely can. Let's go with that for a minute. Yeah, it's hard to tell on these because uh, it's coaxial, so it's like we're not used to <laughs> what the volume should be.
I suck at that. I'm jumping too late. That's what it is. Hey, what's up, Dead Thumb? How's it going, man? Yeah, I know. We're running uh, very authentic. <laughs> In fact, to get it right, yeah, I have to, it's co, it's like coaxial with a TV out so I can, you know, record it, so. dude. It's always good to get some some Castlevania in. I stopped falling in the dang holes. Ah, come on. Roughed up by these lizard men. Ah. No, that's gonna get me. Right in the drink. Dude, the S video ones are good though, because there's a definitely a few systems to run uh, just that straight S video. I can't remember what I was playing it on before, but yeah, it looks, it's looking good. Definitely impressed with, uh, with this. I can't wait to play out these, uh, last few guys here and, and switch up and see. We got a couple good picks on the Dungeon Explorer, Pack Land. Actually, this version of Tailspin is a lot of fun. It's kind of like a mix between the other two. Yeah, Mr. C's in the chat, and I'm on the uh, the live grind. And as hectic as everything gets, that's about as close we get to getting together right now. <laughs> Just catching each other's streams. Yeah, I, I bet you that was fun. There's so many of those good shumps on here. I uh, I did end up getting uh, Deep Blue recently, which I only got to... I just tested it, but it looks kind of... It was interesting, but it looked like it would be a fun shooter. And then uh, 
Oh, is that all my... Okay, so we'll switch it up after that. Um, but awesome game, Legendary Axe. I'll be getting into Legendary Axe 2 uh, next round, but we got a few other good ones for this one. But anyways, yeah, I was about to say, uh, Blazing Lasers. Uh, really fun game. I can't wait to dive into that more. Got the... I just put that, that's right here. Had it all ready to go. So we're gonna switch it up real quick. Hopefully it keeps everything intact. Play a little bit of Tailspin. This game's actually pretty fun to jam on, so. Yeah, I was glad actually I found mine. Um, it's loose in the box, it doesn't have all the extra stuff. I mean, it had all the, the pieces, but no like foam, anything. I found it in Portland for actually a pretty good price and I was really happy with that and it was a couple years back and then you know I I, I don't know it was something I was really it was what I went there to get that's not the shirt <laughs> but I'm glad I kind of pulled the trigger and now I'm finally starting to get to play with it and, and get some more games I think I had like 10 games for a while which was cool but I just got like another 10 so that was kind of kind of nice Yeah, that's right. When was the last time you've seen that screen? So you can totally tell I'm playing <laughs> that authentic. <laughs> yeah, I sh and I was glad one of the the best things I really wanted was a splatter house which I ended up getting and uh, that was really cool so but I have something else that's oh I got a couple good platformers and actually I got a what was it I just saw it Oh, the pinball. They have some really good pinball. Alien Crush. So they had some stuff that was really good in that sense. I thought that was pretty cool. I love this version. It looks pretty nice. It's definitely that in-between kind of like Nintendo, the Genesis, and I don't know. It looks good. The gameplay is, uh, is, is pretty awesome. I know. I... I'm glad the sound's okay because I was worried it's like all mono. It's it's tough to stream this stuff sometimes. <laughs> but with this setup, I should I'll be able to do uh, yeah like the Atari, the Odyssey 2, the Intellivision. Uh, I thought I had something else possibly, but yeah. So we're really excited about that. Oh man! All right, so I gotta hurry up. Like I said, the games are are pretty f awesome, but they're brutal, for sure. Oh yeah, secrets everywhere. I did play it randomly. I, I don't even know what it is, but there's something behind there. <laughs> A 100. Oh, dude, wait till I beat, uh, well, I gotta do it without dying, but the, there's like a, the flying level they do on this. I don't know if they did that on the, uh, Genesis version. Oh, shit. Man, that was bad. Ah. Oh, that's right. I missed the free guy because of this.
No! Dang it, Baloo. Ah. So, you want to use all those, all those pixels. <laughs> I just really want to get to this scene where he, the, the kit cloud kicker. See, I could have got that free guy. No way I'm gonna get this guy on this chair. Ah. See, he does like two big jumps and then he does two, oh. Uh, two little jumps, so it's like you you need to run under him at the correct time. Oh, all right. Should be able to do this now. For for playing games, young. Uh, I just, I don't know. My brothers were a little bit older. They're well, ten and twelve years older than me, so. We had the system in the house when I was like five years old, four or five years old. Uh, 19, I'm 81, so it was like, what, 85? So yeah, I was like four or five, and I just loved playing. I couldn't stop playing Mario. Ended up uh, starting to play through games, and then I just noticed that, I don't know, I, I met Mr. C in kindergarten, so <laughs> uh, we ended up kind of our love for games brought us to uh... oh. nice <laughs> our love uh, our love for games just really that's where we became like best friends and all that stuff for the longest time just playing co-op games and actually beating them and and we just got so determined to uh, conquer things that I think it was just the sheer number of games that we've played uh, just helps so much as an adult gamer, especially like in the retro things. Because you end up, you either played a game like it, or, you know, it, you can use other games to, to kind of help you with strategy and stuff. So, you know, the more practice, I guess it is, the, the better you can do. I know there's a free guy, I don't know where the... Obviously not over here. Oh, it is. Get it. Nice, Cloud Kicker. Gonna get a... Ice caves sound like no fun. Similar like DuckTales, I feel, where you get to pick <laughs> the thing and there's a stupid ice level. Oh, no. Maybe this one sounds the easiest? I would say that Mr. C is a good gamer. We definitely have our uh, our own niches, but... We, we also have... A, there's a couple games that we're, we're real close at, too, so it's really fun to battle it out. Oh, man! What is going on? Oh. I see, I can't get my suit popped. Yeah, Mr. C's got those skills to pay bills.
Those puffer fish really suck. A crab out of nowhere? Oh, what's going on? Get away from me, crab. I don't think that this one is co-op. Yeah, I mean, it does, but it just... It, I don't think the Genesis one had those, uh other scenes. Oh, man. This is obviously not the place to pick. Is there like a run button? Ridiculous. I wish I could continue from a different stage. This is like, like, what am I supposed to do? Like, do I have a different weapon? What's up, Jojo? <laughs> Trying to uh, get Baloo out of this, out from underneath this water, but it's not working. I think I am missing something about this aqua level. These are brutal. They are really, I know, they're giving it to me under there. I think I'm going to jam through the first level one more time and just to pick a different level than that. Oh, maybe I could have done it right there. Oh, well. We'll do this one because I'm good at it. <laughs> will be when I fail. Oh boy. Dude. These monkeys are outrageous. Get that hundred points. Monkeys were supposed to be nice. Oh. Alright, let's see if I can do this right. little buggers. Too bad they're throwing spears at me. Alright, so right in the middle for the free guy. Yeah, yeah. And a thousand to boot.
did not know I was doing so good. I am easy. I haven't brought that up in a while, I guess. Yeah. This setup and this thing, I am easy. We're watching Brothers Forge Gaming since we've got some people in and out. And yeah, Mr. C has been on the uh, PlayStation 5 trek and I'm loving it with that Demon Souls. Absolutely. We, uh, I met them last year in Portland, uh, the expo. They're pretty cool. Uh, I haven't got to, I don't know, we haven't done a ton of stuff with them lately or, or talked, you know, but definitely familiar with them. At least when you know when the the thing is, you can uh, get it. So let's not go to wherever I went last time. I guess we could go to this stupid... The Ice Caves of Tambria. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, sometimes similar things seem to come up. There are seven ice barrels. At least it's not like slippery ice. Oh, come on. Oh, I see. This is slippery ice. Oh, boy. sink all the way. I know that's our old school one. We, we might have had those taken before we even started the channel. <laughs> I remember seeing that old little collection of games. Now I'm a super weirdo that has way too many Man, I have a bunch of guys, too. It's the only one I'm going to have to practice on. Maybe I can't be uh, holding the button when I jump. You dirty buggers. It's a great winter game. We're always looking for games that have snow and oh sh shoot, that have snow and ball. <laughs> oh man, I'll give this one one more run. That's that's the 
That's how you gotta get them down. Or else they're gonna, yeah, they shoot me right there too. I think I'm supposed to be able to make these jumps after that. Oh. I think they make a joystick for this. I wonder if those would be better. I don't even know what to say. Oh, we can never have too many games. I just meant at that point. I those all the old videos. Uh, it's just crazy to think like <laughs> how many freaking games have been put into this place since that. Why I oughta. Hopefully I'm going to be better at this next game. <laughs> Might as well switch it up to the pack land. Oh. I know that one's going to be entertaining. I did not get that done right there, that was for sure. <laughs> oh boy. Boy, oh boy. Here we are. Brothers Forge Gaming having fun on the TurboGrafx-16. We've played Legendary Axe. We've played Tailspin. And now we're moving on to a little Pac-Land. It is an interesting one, to say the least. see we are running <laughs> the OG OG hardware yeah I actually have seen the turbo stick and pretty much all I because I don't have the duo or anything so I need to just get all the cool accessories I need the uh, the multi tap for the controller and then the AV uh, adapter the booster or whatever and then eventually the CD would be cool. There's some really cool game looking games on the CD. Some really cool uh, working designs games, which is cool because we're from uh, where working designs is from. So it's kind of nice to get as many of those games as you can. We got the pack land in the house. I wish there was a round 25. I can run. See about that. I know, I was pretty stoked on that. Uh, to see Death Thumb, that was cool. I'm glad that uh, we're, you know, we got some people that pop in and out of the streams and stuff, and it's always good to see some of the old familiar faces. Oh, I wanted that. Go Pac-Man, go Pac-Man, go. See, so I'm probably supposed to get the pellet, go back, and try to get big points. Yeah, it kind of reminds me of the whole, like, the Sega Genesis thing, where it's, uh... It's like a Frankenstein once you you have to get all this stuff. Oh, I can get on there, huh? When you have to get all these different accessories to, to play all the coolest stuff. Roll, Pac-Man, roll! Oh, that was timing right there. Cram some extra points in there. It's Pac-Mart. Yeah, that's... Is this how the other one is? 
the other pack land on the SNES? Oh no! Okay. supposed to go. <laughs> I feel like I might be in some trouble. Oh. So it starts me right there at least. I gotta go. Oh. Made it. <laughs> oh, I see what's supposed to happen. <laughs> I think I'm supposed to press jump. Some reason you can get on top of them. I mean, you know. Let's see in those super jump. Look at that! Oh, I missed it! Whoa! <laughs> this game is... These are crazy games, man. Those turbo graphics are sure doing something. <laughs> no, I'm going backward? Double jump? When did this happen? Did I put in the cheaters code? Oh. Cheat. Keep going. What am I doing? Do I have some sort of special boots? I have no. That that looks like one of the good ones. I don't. some sort of game like that. The, the other game I really wanted was Bloody Roar, I think it is, or Bloody, no, Bloody Wolf. That That's the one game I really, really have wanted. Oh man, that's bad. Can I fly? No flying today? Sixteen hundred. Nice. Yeah, Dizzy, this is actually it was fun. It was it's funny because we talked about that other Miss Pac-Man game. So this one totally uh, was just another 
interesting <laughs> one for sure. Yeah, China Warrior thinks the side scrolling beat him up, and then Bloody Wolf is like the side scrolling, uh, like, plat shooter platformer beat him up type thing. Oh man. me? Bologna. It's bologna with cheese. Oh man. You sucker. potentially yeah they're running yeah that's but both of those were high up on my list and then there I think there's a there's like a ninja one too I believe I've looked into the library several several times so it's not really all that big and I've always wanted to find some of the better games in there the magical boots I bet <laughs> yeah actually one thing I have prided myself this is ran not you know all of my systems but for the TurboGrafx-16 so far I have every game uh, what they call I guess complete in case because there is like a box to this which sucks because there's nothing on the back but it does have the the case the manual the side thing uh, I might be missing a couple of these little jackets, but I have actually most of the, even the little jackets that go on them, so. I've always been stoked about that. Most of my TurboGrafx stuff I got from, like, collectors or at trade shows. Oh, I ran right into that guy. Ninja Spirit, That I think that's it. Oh. right in the face yeah so I'm definitely ho <laughs> uh, I'm hoping to uh, definitely look into to more of that turbo stuff in the future pretty friendly it looks like you can just ki uh, continue Let's see if I can fly through this at least once. Kind of reminds me of a uh, joust right now. <laughs> yeah, thanks, Dizzy. I, that's I don't know for some reason I like the the only real way to display them because I I have trouble with like those little hue cards and stuff. So it's like I gotta at least have the cases for them. 
And then once most of mine did have cases, I was like, ah, now I don't want to buy ones that, that don't have cases. <laughs> no! Hey! It's Mrs. Pac-Man and pac Junior. Awesome, man. Yeah, thanks, Dead Thumb. Always cool to, to see you. Thanks for coming and hanging out with EZ, chatting with Mr. C. Always appreciate you, man. Oh, man, I did not need to do that. You're never going to make it. Skull of Death. Pretty fun. We'll go until the next time I die here, and then we will switch into our next game which won't be very won't take me very long because I'm not a huge uh, racing fan this one is fun but uh they're tough you know it's you gotta really really want to grind but I'm gonna do a you know I'm gonna get through a few stages so it, it's it'll be entertaining enough and then we'll get into some dungeon explorer which uh, is one of my favorite out of out of this little pack of games actually Legendary Axe was really amazing. That's one I really want to go back and, and play. But this has been Pac-Land on the TurboGrafx-16, switching it up. Nice. This has been going nice and smooth so far. You're here with Brothers Forge Gaming. Easy. We're playing TurboGrafx-16, and we're having a great time doing it. Thanks to all our people out there stopping in and out. You guys rock. You make it all worth the while. If you haven't been checking out Mr. C, he's got the PlayStation 5. He's been doing Demon's Souls playthroughs. Man, that guy is on fire. He's doing good. Can't wait to see what he's got lined up next. Uh, I got a lot of stuff on my plate as well. So can't wait to make a bunch of cool, fun stuff. From Turbo Graphics to back to Dreamcast. I think I'll be... I had something really cool planned for Dreamcast. Probably all of tomorrow. So <laughs> I just got the rest of this week off. Besides some uh, physical therapy. So should be good to go on the streaming content game. My support parts. I wish I knew more about this game. Who needs brakes? You want to go fast, right? Victory run! Alright, let's see what happens. Oh yeah, that's right, you have to shift in this. And that's what makes it hard. Oh, hard. Or more challenging, I should say. Oh, that's right, I got the hang of it. You just slow down a little bit.
shifter was broken. Should have put more into it. <laughs> Trees are whipping in the breeze. Oh man. It's getting dusk and I'm not supposed to drive at night. Who's the rebel now? Nah, I'm just kidding. But. Whoa, get out of my way, man. I feel like I needed to be finished already. My time's almost done, and it's gonna start ugh, taking away from my other time. Just like my spare time. Oh no! That's where it all went south. Cause you gotta have that extra, you need that bonus time or else, oh I was almost to the end too. Got myself a little checkpoint though. Yeah, that's what, that's definitely, um, the crashing reminds you of out, is it Outrun? The way it's just so brutal. And then, yeah, the the movement of it itself, it's like that earlier style. It's pretty pretty cool game. It's just really tough. You know, I don't know much. See, and I don't know what... Like, should I just be using one of everything? What's going on? I don't want to not have that. Oh, I probably could have looked up there. Maybe I get damaged. Try to push that envelope then if they think we're too slow. Let's ride that shoulder. Like a true, true driver. Oh man. Come on. Can't you see I'm trying to go 170 here? Screeching as that sound. Oh boy! What a sharp turn is this? Oh, I hit it. seconds of bonus time. Never gonna make it. They got this garbage truck that's driving like a bat out of hell. Hey, I might have done it. That's cool. <laughs> Won't you let me pass? So it looks like I needed some. Oh, okay. I guess if they're blue, I probably didn't need to you waste that stuff last time. Makes sense. I don't know how somebody got 140. I need I need Mr. CK Kenny Cox here. CK KC whatever it is. Whoa, what's this? Oh, crazy night race, huh? Oh. Shit.
Is this not the right, like... I feel like maybe this is like a dirt track or something. And uh, I'm not supposed to be going in that last gear. kind of racing. When I wanted to do the victory run, I assumed we'd be driving on a road. steer and have to shift with the same uh, with the same thing I feel like I almost did the all night desert run but then I hit a rock oh man dude so that's a uh, that that is a fun game. It's pretty self-explanatory. Um, you know, if you're looking for racing and stuff, it's actually a pretty quality. I I would recommend it. But we're getting we're getting to that point where I really want to get to Dungeon Explorer because I'm gonna play it for a minute. So let's go ahead. That was Victory Run on the Turbo Graphics. Next, we're going Dungeon Explorer. I know Mr. C has been waiting for this one, so... Yes! There we go. In stereo. I don't know if that's true, but... This one's the jam, dude. The Dungeon Explorer is hot. So once again, we'll thanks for being here with Brothers Forge Gaming. We're getting ready to play the last of our five set for the TurboGrafx-16 here on our little five-game demo. Getting into the TurboGrafx collection that I've always wanted to do. So it's been a lot of fun so far. We covered... Actually, all the games were, were pretty awesome. So they're tough, they're challenging, but they look great, they sound great. And we're ready to get into my one of my favorites. Uh, they also make this on the Sega CD... But uh, that one is a little harder to obtain. It is one of the only, if not the only, actually good four-player game on the Sega CD, so. so. Pound some monster and let's explore some dungeon. That's right, we're running all original stuff here. The TG-16 running coaxial, running a TV outline to get the recording, so it's pretty cool. Oh, Mr. C, look at these. You'll you'll love this game, dude. I think it's got to go through all the characters and stuff, so check that out. Yeah, dude, it is. It's pretty awesome. Welcome. How many person? See, I, you can do five players. That's cool too. It's like five player gauntlet. But the Turbo Graphics is awesome. Dude, the elf 
this time. Oh, did I miss that? Is this a reset? Well, in risk of whatever, I, I want to see. Uh... There we go. Maybe I have to let it play through a second, but it, it shows all of the different characters that are in the game. So we'll let it, we'll rock out again real quick. And see if it does that. That's actually one of my favorite things because of uh, like artwork is always awesome and a big part of our, you know, wanting to get games. All of these games, like the Turbo Graphics stuff, it all just has that little bit more uh, of like a hand, hand drawn feel. You know, Legendary Axe. It's like these things; they look pretty awesome. Uh, the artwork on all of them. Always worth worth having around, I feel. The aliens. No, <laughs> we're dealing with aliens, huh? See, I feel like this is one of those games that might end up being too hard for a single player. Uh, you know, I could probably have some fun, and you know, ultimately maybe I could get there. But it seems like one of those things where you need. Uh, here's the thing I was talking about, but it seems like one of those things where you need your group because you can have four or five people, I and mean, that's crazy. That kind of firepower compared to what I'm gonna go and do by myself. You know, I don't know if the game. A lot of games back then didn't really adjust the mobs, so basically it was either just as hard or just as easy from one to five. So. We'll see how this goes. The bard with the dart, the teleporter, music. Man, this is pretty cool. I don't know who to be. Silencer, magic healing, powerball. I gotta be that elf. Oh, or the gnome, because he's like axe battler. He looks just out of like a... Uh... Explore those dungeons. All right, all right. Can I go with that elf? Maybe we'll run a gnome, because I probably will end up dying. Oh, yeah. Can I talk to? Access Castle. So basically, yeah, that is right. It's a gauntlet crossed with a, you know, like a full RPG style thing, you know, with your towns and quests and stuff like that. I can't remember if in some of the later gauntlets, because there are some actually pretty cool gauntlets I didn't really play, like Gauntlet 4, perhaps? So maybe there are some other cool gauntlets that I just don't know about. Thought I just was. Look at them dancing girls. I got that. 
that music going now. <laughs> I feel like this one might have some jams going. Take it down a slight little notch there. Yes. I I know I've played it. I, I might there's a couple games that I get confused, but I think I've played I definitely think I've I've played it. We've actually played most of the, the Nintendo games, but I get foggy because there's a couple of those, like, castle and different ones that I always, uh... Okay, and it's you. I I can't remember exactly which, yeah, which one it was. I was like... There you are, Mr. C. I was hoping you would have told me which guy to pick. I went with the classic elf. Yeah, you can do five players on this, too, or something crazy. Meet the king in the back room. I'm going to buy the multi-tap thing, like, just for this, so we can play, like, at least a couple people. To rule the world. Top flight security of the world, Craig. The south of the castle. Oh, say what? Did I just use it? Maybe I shouldn't have. I used all my special magic. You'd be surprised too on the Nintendo games, the manual is so crucial because it's just, it's like a two button game so you don't realize how many games use like select as an alternate button. There's games that use like, like pressing down in another button for combos and stuff, so. Yes, I'm going into the dungeon. <laughs> Let's see, it's the same theory of, uh, they have a, you know, like a little home thing. Like in Gauntlet. It's cool, it's got like a puzzle aspect and stuff. You can like push rocks. Dungeon we go. Um, there's like a this would be fighter, and then there's like a gnome, which is basically like it looked kind of like a dwarven fighter, and then there was a clergy guy or something like that. So I don't know if he was exactly like a paladin. There, I don't know if there was a Valkyrie style character. Nothing. 
helmet? I'll take it. <laughs> oh, yeah? Is it like a Robin Hood game, or is it like a hood game? Or is it like, oh, is it like Mafia gangster stuff? Speak of my language. Puzzle game. Oh, shoot. Ow. Yowza. Wow, that instant killed me. so rough. It's like painfully bad. This game's so brutal it won't even let me. I gotta like shut it off to play it again. How dare you! Fighter, bishop, or gnome? Yeah, it, he doesn't hit you. I think it was because I was running into him. Either that or the that guy is super weak to him. Because when I fought, I beat him last time I fought him, like with a fighter. All right, dude, Bishop, it is, dude. I feel like I have more hit points with the Bishop. Yes, job. Yes, job. All right, so we won't waste any time. I will go talk to the king, and we will be on our merry way. Right? This the regular town aspect looks like some, all those classic games. And then, of course, like the gauntlet stuff. I mean, just the party aspect. It's a jam and a half. Whoa. Ooh, am I throwing the crosses, dude? I feel like that's good. Oh no, they're just magical. Magical beams of death. Dude, I feel like this guy's way more powerful. Oh, I couldn't get it. Kind of slow cast time, uh, speed wise. I don't know if I can switch the items and stuff. I don't know exactly what all that. Oh, what's this? Okay. Sucker. 
the skulls are the... Do I want them? Is that like the wisp for when I'm not, when I'm doing, taking too long? Oh my god, that thing mer- I think I need, I need some friends. Bishop kicked all over the place. I don't know what that was, but I hope it was like life. Why are there so many snakes on this plane? I feel like that should be like a special murdery killy attack. <laughs> I know, man. This is super ganging up on me. It's not fair. Mr. Demon. I do see I can shoot his attacks. Oh, I was gonna kill him! I got, I'll see if I can kill that guy, and then we'll call it a call it a thing, so we can start to wind this stream down. I'm gonna use a gnome this time. See if I can get it done. Basically, thanks for hanging out with Brothers Forge Gaming. I've been EZ here, grinding on my Turbo Graphics, playing a lot of fun games that you don't get to see all that often. We're on Dungeon Explorer right here, right now. I wish I had four friends to play with me. <laughs> And maybe I could get it done. I wanted to be this gnome because he reminds me directly of the guy from, uh, uh, what's that? Why well, can't I even think of it? Uh, Golden Axe. Let's see if I can even go fight the boss without talking to the king. Wouldn't that piss me off? And of course, yeah, thanks everyone stopping by. It was cool to see uh, Dead Thumb earlier. Dizzy's been here, keeping us company. Mr. C, playing on the chat. Always, always such a good time.
bull beast. Nice. Sweet. Just gotta get in there. You just gotta get in there and get it done. Now it's like your treasure run. More gold, your majesty. Oh, I bet you I could have went and got something cool. Oh wait, no, I'm gonna do it right here. The Undead. Man, so yeah, this is a fantastic game. We're winding it down here. Uh, see if I can go find another dungeon to die in. Eh, maybe we'll just call it with the, the hero triumphant. Go out on a win, right? Go watch some football going on anyways. I believe it's that time. Oh yeah, way past time. So thanks again, everybody. This has been Brothers Forge Gaming Easy, the TurboGrafx-16 system you don't want to miss. I'll be bringing you some more Turbo Graphics probably this Friday. So look for some more hits. Maybe I'll practice on some of my favorite games of today's plays uh, and see if I can do a little bit better. But as always, guys, take it easy, and we'll catch.